The Aeronautical Development Agency has released a work package for the development of prototype softwares for computer vision tasks, related to automatic takeoff and landing, and store separation in Tejas light combat aircraft, which is seen as a first step towards the development of unmanned Tejas aircraft. Hindustan Aeronautics is working on Tejas Max mothership platform, that will act as command and control post for the CATS Warrior, CATS Hunter Air Launched Cruise Missile and CATS Alpha Loitering Munition. Halland New Space Research and Technologies plans to demonstrate the combat air teaming system on Tejas Max in the next three years. Bharat Electronics Limited has joined hands with Aeronautical Development Establishment and Aeronautical Development Agency in the development of next-generation digital flight control computers for the AMCA program. The digital flight control computer of the AMCA will feature artificial intelligence and will be 10 times more powerful than the digital flight control computer of the Tejas Mark II. The Aeronautical Development Agency had recently opened a new facility for the AMCA program and has started work on avionics and flight control system for the AMCA, along with next-generation avionics, line-replaceable units, air data computers, weapon computers, radar warning receiver and head-up display. The DRDO chief Dr. Satish Reddy has said that the work is in full swing on manufacturing of the light tank prototype by the DRDO and Larson and Tubro, and the first light tank will be rolled out in 2023. He also confirmed that Larson and Tubro will be in charge of the manufacturing of light tank when it clears all developmental and user trials. The Indian Army aims to procure around 350 light tanks that will be deployed in high-altitude areas. Ahead of Defence Minister Rajnath Singh's visit to UK, Jeremy Quinn, UK's Minister for Defence Procurement has said that the UK is looking to build industrial partnerships for future defence technologies with India, and jet engines, helicopters and undersea technologies are the possible areas of cooperation. He also said that the Royal Navy and British industry are ready to co-produce an indigenous electric propulsion capability in support of the Indian Navy and enter into a strategic collaboration for next-generation fighter jet, jet engine advanced core technology, and co-production of laser beam riding man portable air defense systems. The DRDO has successfully flight tested the indigenously developed high-speed expendable aerial target, and it demonstrated good performance at low altitude, including sustained level and high maneuverability. It weighs 70 kilograms and has an endurance of over 30 minutes, and can fly for up to 400 kilometers. It will replace the imported British Banshee drones for anti-aircraft practices and testing of surface-to-air missiles. It also has a potential to be converted into a high-speed subsonic missile, and can act as a decoy and also function as a jammer platform. Israeli company Elbit Systems has announced that it has been awarded a $220 million contract to supply the Lizard Precision Guidance Kit for airborne munitions to a country in Asia-Pacific, and the contract will be performed over a period of 15 months. The Lizard is a laser-based precision guidance kit that enables general-purpose airborne warheads to engage fast-moving targets with high accuracy. The DRDO is developing a fully autonomous terrain monitoring and decontamination system, which is a lightweight battery-powered autonomous vehicle with artificial intelligence sensors cameras and mechanical components to lift and store samples, and is designed to scan a potentially nucleo-contaminated area, identify the source and location of the contamination, and place the suspected samples into a radiation-proof container. Oh, my God.